and then final example here is the following here. Does each of the following affect either the supply or demand for loanable funds? And if so, does the affected curve shift to the right or shift to the left here? So I'll go through each of these four situations and then determine if it's um, if it's the supply or the demand for loanable funds. And then I'll I'll go over the dire directions here. So decrease in capital flow. So capital flow, this is supply of loanable funds. So I'll keep that blue here. Okay. Businesses are optimistic about future business conditions. Okay, I'll, I'll use green right here. This is demand for loanable funds. Just to be consistent here, I'll put loanable funds as well here. Okay, the government decreases borrowing. Ha ha. Okay, this is the idea that when will the government ever decrease borrowing? Uh, you might find that funny. You might not find that funny here. Um, but this is clearly going to be another demand for loanable funds here. So I'll use green here for demand for loanable funds. And then finally, the private savings rate increases. Again, this is a supply issue because that's going to alter the supply of loanable funds. So the correct answer here is supply of loanable funds. Okay. Now let's go back to A right here. Um, there's going to be a decrease in capital flow. So that's going to shift the supply curve to the left. There's less supply of loanable funds. So it's going to be um, decrease. So shift left. Okay. Um, now businesses are optimistic about future businesses. So they're optimistic, so the demand is going to increase. So it's going to increase. Um, and therefore, increase. And uh, again, they want to know if it shifts, uh, which way it shifts, to the left or to the right. Increased, which is a shift uh, right. Okay. Government decreases borrowing, so it's the opposite of crowding out effect. Instead of a demand increase, there's going to be a demand decrease here. So there's going to be a demand for loanable funds decrease. And that's going to shift the left. Now I have a, I have a demand decrease left, demand increase right, supply decrease left. This is probably going to be supply, supply increase uh, to the right, but Let's make sure you read this problem before you jump to any conclusions. The private savings rate increases, and um, that is correct here. So the supply of loanable funds is going to increase, and therefore it's going to shift right. So hopefully you got a, got a sense of, of how to draw the supply for loanable, uh, loanable funds graphs and see the connection uh, in the short run versus the long run and how it ties on ties in with the money market thank you for watching educator doc